So when you have these professional people in Australia doing the things that you were doing here with amateurs, yeah. the difference is striking to you as a director? There was only one difference. The difference is not in the talent pool. Okay. We are exceedingly talented here. Okay. But we are also exceedingly unprofessional. Uh, a rehearsal that's supposed to start at 7 might start at 8. 8 IST, Indian Stretchable, <laughs> stretchable Time. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody, and um, then also remember, and I don't blame people here, because remember you're earning your money, you're doing your day job. Mm. This is your passion. Okay. So you're doing it after your work, you're tired, you're, you know. Or oh, traffic and you get late. And yeah. So I don't blame people for it. The difference there is that this is your bread and butter. So it's your passion. But that I can understand for a professionally produced play where the cast are adults. But when you, in your play, did you have any children, any youngsters who were not employed as a full time? The main cast are all adult. It's only, okay. with The Wizard of Oz, it's Dorothy who's the little yes, girl. Yeah. And Dorothy is in high school. Okay, so, so she's obviously not a paid actress. She, or oh or yes. she gets paid. But oh yes. But is she under all the guilt? Terms Absolutely. And, yeah. Absolutely. So you sign a contract with her? Yes. Or? Okay, so they turn up on time. Turn up on time. Rehearsals are rehearsals. Show is shows. It's very professionally. Okay, so do, do they goof up like every other actor? Out here, what you had? I mean, who's, who's the actor that doesn't goof? Okay, so and your play, you said, is highly interactive. It's very interactive. Every audience is different. So while you have the general structure, you work within it. So you, you allow them that, uh, that liberty of uh, maybe saying something a little different from what you had penned? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Would you encourage? Yes, I do. If it's going to help the production. And the nice thing is because we've been together for so long, the understanding is tremendous. Uh, so it's very easy to work off each other's vibes because we're doing so morning, noon and night, day in and day out. Okay, it's like being a circus performer. They look like they're doing deadly crazy stuff, but it's all rehearsed. Well, to at least. Yeah, yeah. Yes. so you don't, uh, no panic. No panic. And here, what, what about stage props and other things that help you? How are they compared to what's out there? Okay, uh, again, I, I want to, to draw a difference uh, in the 90s, let's say. I think we had, Madras, had one of the most talented set and lighting designers I have seen internationally. Wow. Mitran Devanesan. Oh yes, he was a star. Yeah, Mitran uh, is a legend. Yeah. Frankly, a lot of my early theatre came by hanging out on his balcony. I mean, those were groggy days, mm. but from what we, you know, remember the next day, uh, they were good days. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and you could learn a lot of him. Absolutely. He's a very open-hearted guy. Open-hearted, selfless, yes. happy to teach you if you were happy to learn. And your plays, which you you only stuck to The Wizard of Oz or did you do other projects? No. I mean, in Chennai, we started off with the... We were the only ones doing musicals for children, even in Chennai. We did Annie, um, yes. the, the Sound of Music. Yes. Uh, a few others. Who, who, who played Annie for you? Ah, uh, let me think. Sarah, Sarah George played okay. Annie, right. and the littlest uh, girl in Annie was uh, someone you recorded years later, Shalini. Oh, okay. She was also <laughs> part of the theatre. She was part of Annie. Okay, okay. So when you decided to stop the children's side of it yes. because you wanted to make it a professional body, yeah. Uh, did you ever think of do, getting into that children's thing once again when you're in Australia? Yes, of course. And uh, to keep that side going, my wife uh, Christy, I mean that's her passion to work with children. Okay. So we we do workshops for children in theatre and in music, mm -hmm. and uh, open performance opportunities out to them. So I mean things like the Wizard of Oz have huge scenes like Munchkin Land. Okay. Or the Emerald City. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, you guys are living in five, six hundred children you could use at a time. Okay. And these plays, when you perform them, they're ticketed shows, obviously. Oh, yes. So, parents come along with the kids, or they just send the kids in and say, go enjoy yourself? No. Some. I mean, uh, whole families come. It's, 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 it's festive. Okay. So, it's, it's not uh, the, the, the somber mood of a play. Uh, play. As, no. As we look at a, as something in, in even the, what is the Madras players put up a serious play. Oh, it's not that kind of mood. It's, this is a very... It's not forbidding. Okay. It's friendly. Okay. From the usher. The usher's in costume. Alright, okay. So do, to, do the kids ever approach you after the shows? Yes. 
Oh yes, the casts are always available, the lead cast, okay. for photos and autographs after every show. That's part of our mandate. Okay. Also, as we travel, are visiting children in hospitals who aren't able to come for the shows. Mm -hmm. That is also part of our mandate. Okay. And do they have to pay for all that? When the guys are calling, some hospital wants you to come? No. If a child in hospital, I mean we've had chronically ill children, terminally ill children, request that the Wizard of Oz characters come and visit them. I mean if a child calls at 2 in the morning, there's none of us who would refuse to paint up and go there. No charge. Okay, and you're talking about a professional cast. I'm talking now. about a professional cast. So they go well no beyond charge. the call of duty, as they say. I think so, because I mean, come on, mother, there's there's uh, this human you, in all you, of us. Yeah, would you see the same kind of attitude here among our kids in Madras, or, or they are a little more? Hey, come on, don't call me so late at night. I, I mean, me personally, I never faced that. Okay. I mean, I I I'm blessed to have worked with a, a wonderful set of of cast here. And even though they were not doing it as a profession, many of them have moved on to, 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 to do it as a profession today. But they were loving, giving. I mean, those were days when we shared the little we had. Yep. The, you know, there was, there was no big bucks in theatre so in the 90s. Was there a, a post-show uh, uh, party, for I, example? I think uh, there were many little parties <laughs> uh, wherever one could afford to be. Yeah. And it led up to the big one. Or, or, you know, the end of your three Okay, days. folks, so I, they, there's one very new thing that he's up to. So, and that's uh, something to do with eye care. And that's quite unique. So, we'll find out that when we come back again. So. Absolutely.